Well, good morning and happy Advent. As we continue in the second week of Advent, we continue in the story of the, the visitation. Mary and Elizabeth together yesterday, we in Luke 139 looked at how Mary left in haste. And I think it's important for us to understand that while Mary left in haste, it doesn't mean that Mary traveled in, in haste or Mary traveled hastily or Mary was in a rush to get to Elizabeth. There was no frenzy or frenetic activism within Mary. It's about 130 miles from where Mary lived in the north to where Elizabeth lived in the south. It's about 130 miles of a pilgrimage that Mary would have entered into and that would have taken in between 9, 10, maybe 11 days for Mary to get from where she was in Nazareth to where Elizabeth was in Judah. So what did Mary do or how did she get there? Well, more than likely Mary would have traveled with family as to not travel that journey alone as a young woman. Uh, secondly, Mary would have probably walked as um, the abundance of animals or horses or even donkeys would have certainly been um, slim pickings back then. So Mary more than likely would have walked. She would have walked the 130 miles from where she was to where Elizabeth was. What did Mary do as she was walking for, for nine to ten days? Well, she probably remained recollected. She probably continued to think, to ponder, to savor the words of the angel Gabriel. And, and we can only in our imaginations now, almost right now, visualize Mary as a young 14-year-old woman walking in caravan, but yet not necessarily in a pack of conversation, maybe even like kind of set off to the side by herself as she's walking. Occasionally kind of placing her hands in her womb and being reminded of the child that is in her womb. Like Mary's present to the present moment, even as she's on the journey. She knows she's going to see Elizabeth eventually, but Mary's living in the moment on that journey. She's also not living in the past, uh, trying to, to, to relive the, the joy and the excitement of the Annunciation. Like Mary's in the present moment on that journey, in conversation with God, in communion with the son that's in her womb. I think it's real hard for a lot of us to be present to the present moment. A lot of us, we live our lives either so focused on the future or, or perhaps even some of us um, shackled by our past, ashamed of our past or worried about our past. And, and far too few of us live in the present moment. And yet that's where God is. God's active and alive in our life in the present moment. And I think one of the reasons why a lot of us find it difficult to see God taking the initiative in our life I think one of the reasons why we believe WWJD, that God's not real now, is because we find it difficult to live in the present moment. And yet that's the only, that's the only place to live. That's the only place we're ever going to find God in the present moment. Boy, and it's difficult for us to do that in December, isn't it? Like so many things to do, it's like our lives speed up in December. Like there's, there's, there's more to shop for, there's more to prepare for, there's, there's, there's more places to be. Maybe preparing for who's going to come to your house later this month or preparing for going to somebody else's house later this month. Maybe parties to go through in the midst of it all, but it just seems like life can be even faster in December. And my question to you is, today do you find yourself living in that present moment? Because that's where God is. Consider Mary, she had like she had the save of the world in her womb. She had a lot going on. And yet she was present to the present moment. How much more peaceful would your life be if you lived in the present moment? How freer would you feel if you lived in the present moment? Let's take a couple of seconds today and just ask for the grace. By asking a question, where do you live? Do you live in the present moment? 
Do you live in the past? Do you live in the future? Are you missing God and what He's doing now? Ask God to be with you by asking God to give you the grace to live in the present moment. God bless you.